there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with match number five. With the Rally Blitz deck, I think this is keepable. We have a first turn, either Death Cultist or Mog Fanatic. Probably Death Cultist. And then a Blood Artist. And then, depending on what our opponent's playing in, this could be a very, very good hand. Or a very poor hand. So if it's Storm, which it probably is, <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this. Because it's just not fast enough. But we can go first turn. Again, it's going to be Cultist. And then pass a turn. Oh, give me Grixis Delver, most likely. So he is he's definitely digging for an answer. No thought sees. So it's gonna be Blood Artist that comes out here. There's a rally, that's beautiful. We'll just go with a Arid Mesa. And I think we can just safely just get a planes. And then Blood Artist. Get in there for one. He's down to a 16. We have a Sadist next turn and a Mog Fanatic, and then a Ra of the Ancestors after that. And it should should wrap this game up. Just have to play around a counter spell. This instant speed is so awesome. Ra of the Ancestors is just an amazing card. I absolutely love this card. And it's just gonna be a Tassiger. Tassiger is nice. But it's not going to do much. Especially with double blockers. Uh, Sadist is still... Still fine here. We'll go grab a Blood Crypt or a Sacred Foundry actually is what we need. And cast a fanatic. As well as a sadist. Sadist does three damage, which is awesome. And will exploit itself. And we'll go back up to a 19. And I do believe we just blocked the Tassiger with um, Death Cult. This is fine. And this does two damage. So a nice little four point life swing here. He's going to terminate. And we'll kill the Mog Fanatic as well. So he's down to a 7. Hope he spins his mana. Now we just have to play around. Mana leaks. Uh, we'll loot. Sure, get rid of both of these. Uh, we'll get rid of the Mog Fanatic and the Wild Cantor. Yeah. Play a Death Cultist. We just need him to tap out. And he'll do that. He'll get greedy with Tassiger eventually.
Go get a godless shrine here. I think just another sacred foundry, actually. Blood Crypt. Blood Crypt's actually the, the right one here. Mountain, I think we just keep in our hand. Just in case we need to Faithless Looting it away. I just want him to activate Tassiger here. Get greedy, my friend. Pestermite it is. I don't think he's running a main board of Dispel. And this will kill him. So it's actually Grix's twin. Spell Pierce Dispel, we just lose. But this just wins. And we'll go to the sideboard. So we do have a lot, a lot, a lot of options versus twin. We'll bring in the paths. Not quite sure if we need Zealous Persecutions because we have the Fume Spitters. Other Zealous Persecution is a win condition if he does go Pestermite. And it does help us against the Deceiver Exarchs. I kind of want Full Minor Mages. This is, tight. this is the deck where I think it's like, hey, we'll play the controller out Rakdos charm kills twin as well there's a lot of things that just messes up the twin so four cards i'd have to get rid of i think like tormenting voice now that we're playing more of a controller out the cultists seemed okay the fanatics are great spark elementals can go and I think all the spark elementals can go. And we're going to bring in, like, a Fulminator Mage and a, and a Colgan's Command. Two damage to target creature player. Destroy our artifact. Discards a card. Now nah, we don't need a Colgan's Command. We're going to bring in another Fulminator Mage. And submit this. Fulminator Mage just can lock him out of a few colors. I think it's, I think it's worth it. Maybe it's not. But we will definitely find out if that's the case. Well, Immortal Servitude is kind of weak now. If we're going to get rid of all the one drops. So, I think we need the sparks. Yeah, we'll submit this. So I, it's it's there's just so many options throughout the ancestors blowing my mind. I've got this wild cantor, uh, priest of Urrasks, and burning Tramissary deck list. Even thinking about going into like the Beck Call and Fasunity to kind of go infinite, maybe Labrador Maniac is the win condition because you can generate unlimited mana and draw unlimited cards through that route, and the wild cantor can really help you. Um, fix your mana and then you actually actually have access to Simeon spirit guide i'm thinking we could do a turn like a turn two or turn three kill with the deck and we'll just have to look at it collected company seems really really good with rally the ancestor in that deck as well even eternal witnesses to bring stuff back just the 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 deck is or the card is just very solid i'm a big fan of rally the ancestors so we're we do keep this i don't know if that was actually keepable there's a rally though. Now it's a lot better. So we're, we're just going to blood St. Meyer and we're going to go get a, it's going to be a blood crypt and we'll mock fanatic. Now it's pest. You can't go off with pester might. We have a Rakdos charm anyway. Blood arson can come out next turn. Don't care if anything gets countered. Um, Arid Mace is fine. We'll do it again. 
This needs to get a sacred foundry. Do we just need to get a plains here? Um, I do want to. I, I want to god the shrine just in case we do. Yeah, down to fourteen already. I'm not liking that. But we will blood artist. See if he remands this. He does not. All right, so we're gonna get value out of the fanatic and the blood artist. Um, t -t 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 sure. He bolts it off. Which, nice little um, four, point, four point swing, actually five point swing with the Mog Fanatic. And he's down to a 15, we're at a 16. Do you need to hit in those land drops? So, Faithless Looting or Tormented Voice Speed. I wonder if he's going to click me here. Deceiver Exarc. Can I actually deal with a Deceiver Exarc? He's going to tap down a land. Yeah, and there's there's actually nothing I can do. We need to draw into a land here. We do. See if he wants to go for, for twin here. Guess he does. He wants to keep up like a dispel. So he was a little bit leery for going for the twin. Ractor's Charm would have killed him. So we'll cultist. And see what he does this turn. I actually shouldn't have done that because if he goes another Deceiver Exarch, I just lose. Yeah, that was that was really bad of me. Yeah, I would have won that if I would, I, I should have should have thought about playing around another Deceiver X arc. Um, that was definitely my bad. I think we need Tormenting Voices in here. Amber Holler seems kind of weird in this. No, we're just going to, I'm going to stick with it. Uh, yes, we'd like to play first. This is fine. We'll keep it. We have first turn Faithless Looting. Goes down to six cards. Goes down to five cards. I might actually just decide to... Fanatic him. Yeah, we're going to do a Fanatic. Fidak gets a lot more value. Now we can Blood Artist. See if he's got another Bolt. And we could just aggro him out here. Because now he's going to have to fetch with a Polluted Delta. And if he's got a Thought Scarrow, it'll be another 2 damage he does not. I'm going to terminate, and I think it's okay just to let that die.
and just start attacking in more. So there's a sadist. Um, Cantor is weird. I think we, we need to fade the saluting here. That's awesome. We get rid of the sadist and the spark elemental. Here we go get a sacred founder, another blood crypt. And then we'll attack him with both. Or just him, I guess, yeah. Down to a 16. We have two reliable damage. We're going to need a Faithless Looting next turn, though. And I'm worried about the Deceiver Exarch again. And if he has it, he has it. We're going to flashback of Faithless Looting. Yuck. Um, sure, we'll just get rid of... I guess just both of these. But we're not in good shape now. That Vita Saluting needed to find us something relevant. Let's go get a Sacred Foundry here. Death Cultus, not what I wanted to see. No Deceiver X arc? That's awesome. And we'll do another one to thin it out. So he's down to a 10. We have 3 reliable damage. Go get another uh, God of the Shrine here. Yep, God of the Shrine's fine. Yeah. Ugh. Go another death cultist. Down to a seven. If he cracks that scalding turn, he's down to a six. So he just got a really bad draw, is all. Still no twin. Let's find anything off the top, any relevant card. Fume Spitter is actually relevant. Let's see if you cryptic commands, counter bounce, or counter tap, tap draw. Gotta think he has to react somehow here. Deceiver Exarch. Targeting. What is he targeting? My god, the shrine. Really? I guess we just kill him here. All right, so he had a terrible, terrible hand. We drew some. We again, this deck is very reliant on hitting those rally the ancestors. Maybe we need a better way to dig for it. And I'm thinking that the Spark Elemental route. Now that we've taken out like the Vexing Devils and the Hell Spark Elemental, I mean we're we're transitioning over into the route that I was thinking about anyway. In 
um, the self mill type strategy, or even the generating a ton of mana through the burning tramissaries and the satyr um, wayfinders or the other satyr, the, the satyr that kills itself. And I'll have to show you that deck list. Uh, we'll, we'll brew some more deck lists here. I'm going to look at your own list that you've, you've done for the, the Rally the Answers competition. We'll start. We post them all on RogueDeckBuilder.com. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed these matches. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.